So you're applying early decision, a binding agreement between you and the college or university you're applying to. So there's several steps besides making sure that you're ready for a commitment like ED, because if they want you, you're going to that campus and you have to withdraw from all your other campuses, even if you haven't heard from them. So are you ready? Let's look at it. So here on the TCU, let's say this is a campus I'm going early decision. If I have not done so, notice I didn't click on this three dots. I clicked the body of where this rectangular spot is and I'm gonna click on edit. Here, I can change my admissions decision to early actions, non-binding, but the, we are doing early decision. Now let's read what the requirements hit. Submitting an application for early decision requires you to sign an agreement acknowledging your commitment to enroll at this college. If admitted, you will need to add or select one parent or guardian who will also be required to sign this acknowledgement. Yes, this is a family decision. Please note that this college might refuse to consider your application if it does not receive a fully complete ED agreement prior to the application due date. So let's see what we need to do. And don't forget, there's also an ED form required by St. Ignatius that you need to fill out. Oh, look, it just popped up. So when you do this uh, here, you're gonna do an E signature on there. So basically you are reading all this information. This is something you don't wanna just glance, but really read that and know that you will have to do a non-refundable deposit for the campus. Um, and then if you are accepted ED, you must promptly withdraw your application submitted to all the other campuses, UCs, Cal States, out of states, all of them. So you may never find out if you got into college X, Y, or Z, because remember, you've decided that this campus is your number one campus. So we're clicking here saying, hey, I wish to be considered an early decision candidate at TCU. I've read and understand the requirements. Here then you have to pick your parent right? Say, I want to get their signature um, on there. And your parent or guardian should be registered also on here. But if there's some problems with computers, etc., you can also download and print the form. But our recommendation is for you to please do this form. Please do not download this form for us here at St. Ignatius. We have another form for you to sign, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to click save and sign. Now the ED is selected on here, and I cannot go to another campus and do ED, right? Except unless there's ED2, right? Only one ED decision application is allowed. Why is it not allowing me to do that, even though this is a January day? Because remember, you're going to find out during finals whether you got into TCU or not. If you got in there, then you can do admissions at any other campus. But if you get if you get rejected from this campus, then later on you could come over here and change this um, for ED2. Not all campuses offer ED2, just a few. All right, am I done? Am I done? No, 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 you're not done because then you have to go on Common App and then go to Texas Christian University. So you wanna add that onto your Common App if you haven't done so before. And then under My Colleges, you wanna look for this campus on here, and then they're gonna ask you some questions too about your application, right? So you're doing Fall 22 and you're gonna be doing ED okay now again it keeps giving you warnings if you've done ED at another campus right so make sure ED is only for one school right now let's just pretend this is not that issue yes I have I'm applying for financial aid that's the only way you could break an ED uh, contract if you don't get enough financial aid yes you understand all the requirements you're gonna put in an electronic signature on here and then you here you're gonna do have you apply other places and then they're gonna say parent and guardian will not get an ED form request from Common App because all that submission is done with our score program at SI. We're not done. Now remember I kept saying that at SI we have our own ED form. So I'm gonna to go to my profile and then under my drive under senior year application documents under application forms, let's double click on that, click, click, 
where is it? It's, is that this one? Well, you're definitely going to do the cap form and you definitely need to write down if it's early decision on here. But in addition to that, you have to also download on Notability the ED form here. So I would put in TCU, read all these instructions. Know this is a serious commitment. You're also giving us permission to send off quarter grades um, and sometimes I'll ask for midterm grades to your campus because a lot of times before the college makes a commitment they want to see your progress. Yes, senior grades matter. Your parent guardian center should be on here and then yours. You're going to save it and then make sure that you send it to your college counselor. Don't forget to put it under my drive along with your cap form. And that's what you do. Okay, if there's other questions, reach out to your college counselor. We're here to help you.